We are making envelopes today. I am going to show you a quick and easy way to make cute little envelopes for your junk journals and your altered books. So let's get started. I can't believe it is day 11 of our daily creative practice. I hope you all are doing well. I am enjoying this so very much. It has just been a blessing for me to be able to get in my studio every day and share with you. And I'm hearing from some of you that you all are enjoying it and enjoying creating along with me. And I am just blessed, blessed, blessed that this is happening right now. So let's go ahead and just dive in. The best thing I can tell you is to make a template. And I, may, I, I love to use these little scrapbook papers that are fairly inexpensive for a whole big pack. You can find paper, and a lot of times you can find chip, not chipboard, but um, cardstock um, in this size. And they are, let me see, they're six by six. So they make a pretty nice size envelope. I love that, especially it fits in almost every book you make. And you can also use it for correspondence if you like. So the first thing I do is make a template. And I like to make this one out of cardstock so it stays pretty sturdy. So let me show you my hacks for that. They do make templates. Uh, people do make and sell templates out there, but I can show you quickly how to make your own template. So you just take a piece of cardstock, you know, pretty heavy, and you fold it. Let me move this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. You fold it in half, and then you fold an edge down to meet this bottom edge. Then you flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, and those will be the sides of your envelope. Then you can open this up and you bring this side in, and that's going to be the flap that you fold over. Now this is where it gets a little tricky on the bottom side, and I'm going to bring this up here and let you see it. Hopefully, there you don't fold it right at the edge. You give it a little bit of room there. See what I'm doing? Hopefully, because that way the bottom will fold up nicely and make these little square sides. Hope that makes sense. And also we want to fold a part down right there so that it makes a nice envelope when it closes. And let me see how big that envelope actually is when we're finished. A six by six envelope makes a little under four top to bottom and sideways it's a little over four almost four and a quarter so that's a pretty good size for your books i hope that makes sense and that all of this will make sense when we actually use a piece of paper to do this so i'm going to use a dark piece of paper to Hopefully, it's high enough contrast that you can watch me fold because these are the next steps in how to fold it well so that it doesn't um, get all wonky. <laughs> we don't like wonky. Okay, so let's make sure you just clip yourself down. It's either you can use binder clips or paper clips, either one, just in a couple of places to make sure it is square on there. And it's just like the measure twice, cut once. So play with this and make sure it is very evenly on there. Okay, and I'm going to fold my sides in first. So I'm going to take 
a credit card, pretty sturdy credit card. I'm going to hold this edge up, and I'm going to push in there all the way along the edge. That's just kind of scoring it. And then I bring it in and crease it. I'm going to flip it around, go from the center. And the reason I'm going from the center is just so if it got off any and moving it around, that's going to keep it as close to square as possible. Okay, and then fold that over. And of course you can do that with a bone folder, but I actually found that this, that an old credit card works better for, for this, for me. So this I'm going to fold over that little tip that makes the envelope square. I'm going to fold that first. Then I'm going to come in and do the same thing with the bottom flap. Fold that over, crease it, and then I am going to do the same thing with the top. Fold it over and crease it. Then you can remove the binder clips. And fold your sides in and your bottom up to double check that everything got in the right place. And if it did, fold the top down, make sure it got all in the right place. Oops. And this is vellum. It's a kind of real light paper, so it is... Um, it's a little harder to work with than stiffer papers and certainly harder to work with than cardstock. And then that you can round this top corner if you like. I am finding that this vellum is pretty tough to yeah, see what happened with my hole punch on that. So let me just go ahead and round that with my scissors. Vellum doesn't hole punch very easily. And then just take your tape runner and run some tape along the sides. And be very careful. If you're, if you're messy, you might want to put some kind of guard in here to protect that because you do not want to get glue on the inside of your envelope or the outside. Just trust me. Done that several times. And you can't get anything in your envelope. And that's not the purpose of an envelope, is it? <laughs> you want to get something inside there. So that's an envelope. And that was made pretty darn quickly, wasn't it? So my hacks are make your own template. Do that. You can do that for different sizes, too. I have another hack for you, if I can reach it over here is that sometimes if I want a certain envelope size, this is an A2, I just go ahead and open up an old envelope and then you can trace that on a bigger piece of paper and make yourself a normal size envelope. So that's another hack for you about envelopes. Hope that works. And let me tell you another trick and tip for you for putting them in your journals. Since these are going to be um, heavy, they're going to carry a lot of weight because you're going to put things inside of here, hopefully, that you want to glue it with a fairly good adhesive. I like this Fabri-Tac and there's another one similar to this, but I don't See it on my desk right now, made by Beacon. Uh, that's not for fabric, but either one of those is pretty good because that gives you a really good set in there so that if you put other little cards or trinkets or whatever you put in there, it will stay on your page. Um, glue stick isn't really good enough for that. Another thing I like to do, most of these I've made here don't have, but the double-sided 
uh, scrapbook paper makes really, really cool envelopes. So just pay attention to that when you're looking. And you can you can find the scrapbook paper easily out there. Um, one of my favorite places to look for scrapbook papers is Tuesday morning. If you have a Tuesday morning near you, they always have a good selection of those. So here are my envelopes. I hope you have fun. It's a great way to spend... Um, a weekend afternoon is creating a bunch of envelopes for your altered book, your junk journals, and for your future books that you're going to make. So again, this is Rebecca, and I am going to check out. I will see you tomorrow for a Sunday confession session, and it's going to be real interesting, so you don't want to miss that. Anyway, signing out. May peace and joy be with you all.